guys, today I'm starting a new series. It's not like we're training it, but we're still, I'm just starting a new series to this. It's called Jundi's Book Review. It's, as you can see, I have a book in my hand. So, what this book review is about is, I read a book, and at the end of each week, at least, I'll give you a short summary and answer 10 questions about the book. And if you want any qu any more questions, and because I didn't answer one of the questions you have, you can just leave a comment down below and i answer it. So as you can see, the title of this book is Linger. Alright? And in this book, Sam and Grace must fight to be together. For Grace, this means defying her parents and keeping a very, very dangerous secret. For Sam, this means grappling with his werewolf past because he, in book one, this is book two, in book one, which I already read, called Shiver, Sam was a werewolf, but the, at the end, they found a cure to make him stay human. So Sam, this means grappling to his werewolf past, and figure out a way to survive into the future. All torn, so Sam has to find a way to stay with Grace for the rest of his life. But then, at the end of this book, Grace turned, Grace started dying, so she had to turn into a wolf. There's a new character introduced named Cole. In the last book, there was only two point of view, which is Grace and Sam's. But now in this book, Grace has a best friend, which is Isabel. So this her point of view, Cole's point of view, Sam's, and also Grace. All four of them. So the author is Maggie. I don't know how to say her last name, but I think it's Steve's Miss Vaster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And what it says on the back, it says, their eyes, human eyes and wolf skulls, remind me of water. The clear blue, the clear blue of water reflecting the spring sky, the brown of a brook churning with rainfall, the green of the lake in summer as the agile begins to bloom, the gray of a snow-choked river, it used to be only Sam's yellow eyes that washed me from between the rain. So purchase. And but now I feel the weight of the entire pack gaze. The weight of things no things unsaid. And here's a little another short summary. The longing. Once Grace and Sam have found each other, they must fight to stay together. For Sam this means reckoning with his world past. For this it means face for grace it means facing a future that is less and less certain. Cole, who is past and who is past full of hurt and danger, he is wrestling with his own demons, embracing the life of a wolf while denying the ties of being human. For Grace, Sam and Cole, this is a life show over. So let's start with the questions. Number one did I like the book and why? Well, yes, because this is the second, like I said, this is the second book. If I if I wanted the second book so badly because I read the first book, of course I'll like the book. It's pretty entertaining. It's more of a love story, really, if you like love. But it's very entertaining about Sam's past as a werewolf. And yeah, really. Number two, was the book easy or difficult to read? Well, this is the thing about me. I'm a very fast reader. In my class, I read faster than anyone has ever read. And my, me and my friend had a challenge. I started with what we started, no, he's, we both started on a book. He was ahead of me by 60 pages, 60 or 65. One of those. But then I passed them by five books, which is including that one. And one of the books were over 500 pages. So I'm a pretty fast reader. And, well, this is my bookmark. 
It was in the middle of the book, but I finished it. I don't know why I did that. So, it says use your imagination. So question three, let's see. Well, I forgot. Yes, it was easy to read, okay. Number three, did I have fun? Yes, I had fun reading the book. Like I said, it was entertaining, and I like to know about Sam's world past and the introducing characters, Isabella, no, Isabella and Cole. Number four, what did I learn? Well, this book isn't really nonfiction, so I didn't learn anything much, but I learned that Cole is very smart and has a past as a superstar, no, yeah, a superstar, a very famous singer named Nakaruta. I think, yeah, Nakaruta. Yeah. Number five, what surprised me? What surprised me was many things. First, that you have met more point of views from Isabel and Cole. Another thing is, yeah, another thing is, Cole has a friend named Victor and bit, no, Cole has a friend named Victor and bit him to be woke with him. But here's the most surprising thing. Cole in this book wanted to be a wolf, while Sam and every one other person didn't want to. Cole was the only one who wanted to be a wolf, besides... Well, yeah, that's it. Number six. Was the characters intriguing? Well, to say, I kind of guess so. I'm not really sure what the word means, but if it's a good thing, then yes, they were very... Because... It's like the, it's like it's really happening. Number seven. Would you recommend this book to others and why? Well, yes. Like I said, if you like love stories, this is a good one. In the first book, it had leaves shaped as hearts. Uh, let's see if I can find them. Well, look. Here's the different chapters. This says Sam, Cole, Grace. I don't think I can find Isabel, but there's also Isabel. Oh, you saw it, right? Right there, Isabel. Number eight. Would you like to read book number three? Well, that's a definitely yes question. There is no need to ask, it's obvious. Uh, I think number book three is called Forever. Yeah, Forever. And I think it's gonna have more characters, including, um, Grace's and next best friend has her own point of view name, and her name is Olivia. Okay. Number nine, was the book how you expect it to be? No, not really. I didn't expect Grace to turn to a wolf back. I read a preview, but I was kind of surprised that Grace was gonna turn into a wolf, and Sam stays the same. Number, oh, and I didn't expect other points of view. Number 10, right? Yeah, 10. What would you change this of this book? Example, like uh, characters, pictures, titles, things. Um, there's nothing much I would change. At first, when I read the preview, I used to skip calls because I thought it would be boring, school point of view. But when I read the book, I decided maybe it might be fun, so I'll try. And it was. Cole's point of view is very nice. They all met at the end. Um, you see, I just did the All right. Yeah, that's all the questions for today. I hope you liked it. And like I said, if you have any more questions about this book or any other book, oh well, yeah, please recommend the book you want me to read next to say to you. Or any of any questions about this book, please leave a comment down below. Make sure you thumbs up or like and subscribe which is down here red no worries okay and that's all bye peace out